all collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today we're gonna take a look at a few dolls. Like Rainbow Junior High. Series two of Rainbow Junior High gives us a few familiar faces as their younger selves. I didn't buy the whole line yet. Now I just get my must-haves, then wait for the other ones to go on sale. I got Amaya Rain on Amazon for $24.99. When I saw her sweatshirt, it was a must-have for me. And I just gotta know if other dolls are going to be able to fit this outfit. Because I might have to borrow it. Standing under 10 inches tall, this doll has white hair with rainbow highlights in the back and what looks like tinsel. It looks like it's just on the outside, so if I wanted to take the time, I can probably pull those out. She wears her hair in a high pony with a little bit of hair wrapped around it and some coming forward. She has two gold clips that are shaped like safety pins. One says rainbow and the other says sparkle. She wears a white sweatshirt hoodie with cuffs at the sleeves along the bottom. She has gold stitch eyelets or grommets with a rainbow ribbon. On the front, it says, I don't speak fashion, I am fashion. It velcros in the back, including the hoodie. It is paired with a skirt that also velcros in the back. This fabric is pretty nice. However, it is unraveling at a few spots. She has these quilted faux leather boots. They are thigh high with gold stitch details, little strings with gold uh, details on the ends. Oh my. The heel is a hard plastic. It is not bending. I am loving this look. If she was 12 inches with no tinsel and a smaller head, whoa. She comes with a black quilted backpack with rainbow stitching. This pocket opens. This does as well. There's a little gold detail on the front. Ribbon shoulder straps in the back. Little gold details at the bottom. Rainbow shoulder straps in the back. Little gold details at the bottom. And she comes with a comb. Stella Monroe. I mainly bought her for her face. She wears a very simple little pink dress with ribbon straps, a plastic tiara, pink sheer socks, and pink and gold shoes. She comes with a pink bucket bag with a really nice fabric here. I do like that. I'm just not overly excited about the bucket bag design and the ribbon. And she has a pink comb. But with that pink hair and the beauty mark, I think her face is adorable. Here she is next to her standard rainbow high version. We can definitely see a head size difference, but I do want to say the eyes are pretty similar in size. Wait, they're a different shape. I like how the junior high doll doesn't have the shimmery face. So I don't know, a head swap might be in your future. We already did it with Skylar, and I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. I don't know. Let's give it some time. Here is Karma Nichols. Highlighter yellow hair, beautiful brown eyes. Love the lip color. I loved her outfit when I saw it online. I am a big fan of layering. She comes with a green jacket with a faux zipper. Yeah, and then there's a little stripe going down the arm. She wears a white sports bra with ribbon straps, a little rainbow high emblem in the center, and the bottom appears to be painted. It's like sealed with a thick paint. I do wish that had been sewn. Terry cloth shorts with a green waistband and that same painted trim at the bottom. And if you look close, it is cracking on the side and it has cracked in the back. I think she has some pretty cool looking sneakers with little laces. Still too big for my Barbie, but I might just throw some socks on and work with it. But we do get a better fit on a curvy. 
The design of her backpack is pretty cool. We have the little rainbow high emblem at the top. This opens with Velcro so we can put stuff inside. I like the little ribbon here. And we have little pockets on the front. Are they functional? Oh my goodness. I mean, they technically are, but whatever you put in there, you probably can't get back out fabric shoulder straps, and silver details. However, we do have a little bit of coloring here at the bottom. Uh, Crystal Bailey. She is the first one that I had to have out of these dolls. Look at those puffs. Not too big, not too small, definitely in the Goldilocks zone. She has sculpted and painted edges. Personally, I wouldn't have mind a darker lip color. She wears a purple denim graffiti jacket with faux buttons down the front. It opens in the back with Velcro. She wears a purple skirt with a faux zipper. Fabric faux leather purple boots. Love these. She comes with a purple bag with fancy stitching, a little faux tassel, and a chain. The bag still has little ribbon straps. Then the chain can just hang down in the front or be used to add a little extra length to the straps. These dolls have the same articulation as a standard Rainbow High doll with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. They have painted nails and I pulled out all of Amaya's tinsel. I couldn't help myself and it's my doll, I can do what I want. And I wanna see if their clothes can fit a Barbie. Time for Does the Fit Fit? Here's Amaya Rain's outfit on a classic Barbie. Our oversized sweatshirt is no longer oversized. The sleeves stop at the elbow. The skirt is a little on the short side, but I think we can totally get away with these boots. The sweatshirt and skirt can fit a standard Rainbow High doll. The skirt is a little short but I like that we can maintain this look on the larger doll because I wanna do a head swap and be aware that the black skirt may stain. My junior high doll now has a little birthmark, but not for long. I place the dolls in a plastic bag, then into hot water until the head is soft enough to be removed. Got it. <laughs> While the head is still soft, I place it on the new body. I give her hair a hot water rinse, comb the hair. She has some length. I traded the junior high skirt for this one. Now I have a taller rainbow high doll with a smaller head. However, with this doll, I did lose a little head articulation. So I'm just gonna keep an eye out for a possible donor. Hmm, pretty close. My Skylar hybrid already has that neck articulation. Yeah, I totally need that. Stella's top is pretty much just a shirt on a Barbie and I can't get it to close in the back, but we might be able to use it as a skirt. My full size Stella doll doesn't have the neck articulation that I want, but you match. I have two of her because a friend gifted me one with the lip color that I wanted. So now she can be a body donor for Stella. Let's just remove the tiara. Oh, that's like stuck there. While their heads are in the hot water, you all have been asking about Velcro extensions for a minute. You know, a little piece of Velcro in the back that would allow Barbies to fit more rainbow high tops. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot of work, but it's really easy and there is a no sew quick option. Just take a little piece of Velcro, cut a small piece, peel the two sides apart, then overlap them just a little. Take the rainbow high top and attach the opposite ends to the little piece of Velcro. And there you go. It's not the prettiest look in the world, but we can just cover that with her hair and it fits. Yeah, the dress doesn't fit my standard rainbow high doll, but there is something similar that came with the fashion studio and I was able to easily remove the tiara when her head was soft. Ooh, I like this outfit better. 
Since Minnie Toya has WWE superstar hands, I couldn't get them through Crystal's jacket, so I'm using this Barbie style doll. The jacket fits pretty good. We do have a shorter arm. The skirt is kind of short, but the fabric purple boots, they stay on pretty good. I'm giving Crystal Phaedra's body. I was able to get most of the junior high outfit on. Karma's top barely fits a Barbie. Even with our extension, it's just a little short. The bottoms fit okay. And the jacket would end up with some really short sleeves. I think her head matches her body pretty good. Ah, oh, it's a great match. And she can fit the outfit, except for the shoes. And I just changed Amaya to the Pacific Coast High doll with the white bathing suit. Sorry, I can't remember her name. But now she has full head articulation. Kinda loving my little hybrids here. The smaller head just works for me. And I'm loving the fabric shoes. You know what I like even more? Finding a good deal. I got the Rainbow High Car for $15 on Amazon. Whoa, it's a nice size. It has a pearly white finish, black interior, little touches of gold. Aren't those the brake pads? What? The front of the car is nice and simple, and so is the back. So far, the scale looks pretty good with a Barbie. My Barbie can fit in it. However, her head still looks over the windshield. My Rainbow High doll sits a little lower. This is a color changing car. You can add batteries to change the color, but I find it so refreshing to get a white car. I'm gonna leave it as is. A while back, I got Naomi and Veronica Storm from Shadow High. I am totally behind on the show, but the last episode I saw had these two driving away in the car. Their skin is kind of like a really pale purplish color. They have dark hair with purple, pink, and green. I think their eye makeup is actually quite beautiful. This one comes with a little spiky headband, is blowing a bubblegum bubble. The bubble seems to be pretty stationary. Let me know if that is removable because mine is stuck to her lipstick. But look at her eye makeup. They have dark metallic earrings. This one has little bows with pearls on the end. They come with doll stands, two complete outfits in black, purple, and teal. We get a soft faux fur coat here with ribbon and studs, a very cute purse. Check out those nails. She wears a black patent leather two-piece outfit with silver studs, fabric thigh-high boots. Love these. I need them in black. The other outfit is a purple suit with faux feathers on the sleeves, a large bow at the neck. She wears a black patent leather top, shiny black socks with heels that have spikes, and she carries a fabric purse with silver details. Very cute set, however, I am concerned about the bubble. But I am absolutely in love with my little hybrids here. I totally love the proportions, and I just might have to make some room on the shelf. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few things from Rainbow High, did a little does the fit fit, and pulled off a few heads. Oh yeah, you all wanted us to turn the dust bags into pillows. These are from the Rainbow High shoes and handbags surprise boxes. And I think making a pillow would be pretty simple. All you need is a needle and thread and some fluff or a sewing machine. Let's turn the bag inside out. I use pins to mark where I would like to sew. Sew a line. And obviously we would use a real sewing machine. Leaving an opening in the middle. Trim off the excess. Flip it inside out. Add pillow fluff. Sew the opening closed with a matching thread to make a rainbow high pillow. And now all the dolls can have their own pillow. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at 
My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.